Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I'm Peter with Cruise RX. And in this video, we wanted to talk about cruise mistakes. As with anything in life, you learn from your past mistakes. So when we first started cruising, yeah, we made a bunch of them. So we thought we put together the top eight mistakes that we made and learned from and don't repeat. So hopefully you can watch this video and not make the same mistakes we did. So let's go ahead and get into it. Roll the intro. So one of the first mistakes that we made when we first started cruising was not doing research on the ship. So not knowing exactly what we were in for when we boarded the ship. Today you can go on to YouTube, you can look at complete ship reviews. We go to Hard Travel. This is Danny from Hard Travel in one of his reviews. And he does a fantastic job and we'll put a link down to his YouTube channel at the bottom of this description. But before we book any cruise, if it's not a ship that we've already been on, we go and we look at several videos, not only Danny's, but others, and look to see what the cabin's going to be like, what amenities are on the ship, is it old, is it new. So I strongly recommend that before you book a cruise, find your itinerary, find the ship you're considering, but go ahead and watch the videos before you actually book the cruise so you won't have any surprises. The next mistake we've made, and you've probably heard this from other people or you've seen it in other videos, research your excursions. The same as watching videos on YouTube about the ship, you can also watch videos about the excursions. So I strongly recommend that before you head to a port, uh, search the port on YouTube and you'll see options to watch the different excursions that you're considering. And then you get a chance to see not only footage from the actual excursion, but you'll get to see people's thoughts on it. Was it good? Recommendations. Can save you a lot of money, a lot of headache. You only have a limited time in the port, so you want to make sure that you don't waste that time. So watching videos on excursions before you go on them is a really good idea. Another important mistake to avoid is not booking in advance. This would be shows. It would be excursions like we talked about. It would be specialty dining. Uh, we have made the mistake of, you know, we looked at what was available and we thought, well, when we get on the ship, we'll go ahead and book it. We get on the ship and everything's already sold out. So very important that before you go on a cruise, look at what you want to do, talk about it, what kind of things you want to make sure that you do on a ship, whether it's dining, shows, do you want a spa appointment, anything else, and go ahead and book it in advance. And you can still... Uh, research it keep an eye uh, an eye on the prices so if the prices go down you can cancel your reservation rebook it the cruise lines will let you do that um, and this would go for the drink packages as well because they are cheaper when you buy them in advance before you get on the ship so avoid the mistake don't wait till you get on the ship to book things book them right away as soon as you know what you want to do a very important thing to keep in mind and a mistake that you want to avoid is making sure that the cruise line is aware of any special needs that you have, whether they are dietary requirements or if they are mobility issues. The mobility issues are critically important when you're considering what excursions you're going to do. So you want to make sure that when you look at a cruise excursion that you look at you know, what the mobility requirements are. Now, the restaurants are, are really good at asking you about any dietary requirements that you have, uh, any dietary needs that you have. So it's just very important that you research in advance. Just make sure that the cruise line is capable of handling those. I don't think you're going to find one that can't handle it, but better to be safe than sorry. Another mistake to avoid is not being familiar with how the medical facility works on a ship. You want to make sure that you check with your health insurance company and ask them in the event that you need to use the medical facility on the ship, will that be covered and how would you submit a claim? Every ship has a doctor on board. Typically, they're on deck two or three and they're available 24 hours, seven days a week if you're on a cruise longer than seven days. They're always available to see patients. 
On the last cruise we were on, one of the people in our party had to go to the medical facility. It was something very minor. They were in there maybe five minutes, but the, the bill was still $300. Now, as I record this, I don't know if they were able to submit that to their insurance, but consider the travel insurance. We did not used to buy the insurance. We never bought it before. However, now we buy the travel insurance. Uh, we heard too many horror stories most recently. Uh, two ladies that got in, in, in an excursion accident in Cozumel on a scooter. They were in a hospital with a $20,000 bill, no passport, but uh, they did not buy the travel insurance. So they were facing that bill. So we do now buy the travel insurance. And there are options to buy that travel insurance outside of the cruise line. So you can do some research on that and see which may be the best fit for you. But before you get on board, make sure that you understand where the medical facility is. And if you did need to use it, are you going to have to pay for that out of pocket? Or what insurance will you use? Consider the use of a travel agent. So we all have the ability to go online and book our own cruises. What we do now is that we research the cruises that we want and then we reach out to a travel agent uh, to book them for us. Travel agents at times have uh, access to discounts that we may not be uh, aware of and they can also help you with uh, reservations on the ship. Uh, the travel agent that we used uh, without our knowing when we got on the ship we had a complimentary special dining uh, waiting for us. So that was a gift from the travel agent. So I'm not saying every travel agent is going to do that for you, um, but they can make things a lot easier. Uh, you can call them up. They can book the reservation for you, help you with all the, the other things that you may need on a ship, and it could potentially save you some money. It's not going to cost you any additional money. So you're not going to pay any more if you use a travel agent than if you book the reservation online yourself. You just may benefit from it. So it's something to keep in mind, something that we do now that we did not do before. And uh, I just think it makes sense. So consider using a travel agent. The final item, and I think probably one of the most important, is to take advantage of future cruises. Every cruise line has a future cruise, some call it next cruise, on a ship. And anytime during your cruise, you can sit down with those folks and you can book your next cruise. The benefit is that you're going to save a bunch of money. They do give you significant discounts. You can get um, sh uh, ship onboard credits. Um, and you also don't have to book a specific cruise. This most recent cruise we did, uh, we put $200 down and we had six months and we've already used it, but we had six months to go ahead and book a cruise and get the same benefit as though we had booked that cruise while we were on the ship. So whatever you do, and if you work with that travel agent that we talked about, you can turn over the reservation to them. And if they've already handled the reservation that you're on, they can automatically transfer it to that travel agent. So you won't lose that benefit just by doing next cruise. So no matter what you do, no matter if you don't pay any attention to any of the suggestions that we've given you in this video, if nothing else, make sure that you book with next cruise, that you take advantage of that discount when you before you leave the ship so we hope you got a lot out of this video we look forward to seeing you in the next video